What's up guys welcome to another video. I'm really stoked for this video because we're going to be taking a look at a product from Bridge Keyboards that has rejuvenated my Surface Pro 3 and this keyboard actually works for your Surface Pro 3, 4 and the new Surface Pro that just got released this month or last month from Microsoft. So uh, this will work across quite a few releases of the Surface and this is a keyboard that is a must have okay so don't go out and buy this for your Surface Pros and pay 99 to 149 just depending on which touchpad keyboard you get from Microsoft uh, don't do it okay because no this is a no right no okay no alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the bridge this is the bridge 12.3 so you might know bridge from making iPad keyboards okay they're notorious for that and I have one and I love it and I use it all the time actually it really makes the iPad a lot more of a, like a mini laptop and much more productive for me and this is exactly what it's done for the Surface Pro for me okay and this is a quality item this is aluminum build and it is it, it's it's sturdy it's quality you'll know it for the minute you pick it up uh, an aluminum keyboard again for the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and 4 and the new version uh, just look quality packaging you get the keyboard in here and I do want to say when you get it it has these installed for the Surface Pro 4 uh, so if you have a Surface Pro 4 and you're buying this you're gonna be perfect uh, I think also the new Surface Pro these work with it so if you get it uh, and you have the, the 4 the new one you don't have to do anything you just put in put it in the hinges and you're set to go if you have a Surface Pro 3 like I did there are some new ones of these that you have to install on the hinges so you just have to peel these off and then install the new ones which I did works great okay I just wanted to point that out you get the keyboard you get a, a manual which is right here if you need to read it you get a micro USB charge cable right here and that's pretty much everything that's going to be in the box and it is good packaging uh, let's flip it over and take a look again the bridge 12.3 as you can see here how it goes in and basically you know you just lose your uh, keyboard for the bridge or the surface and then um, you mount it in these hinges again we've already talked about the aluminum body uh, backlit keys so you have three levels of backlighting so you can go all the way from just a little bit to fairly bright if you're in a really dark uh, environment uh, 160 degree hinge so you can lay this out not flat but pretty far back for a 160 degree hinge uh, that you can adjust however your angle uh, needs and that's something that you can really use now on the Surface Pro so we'll get into that in a minute about the kickstand on that thing and the extended battery uh, so it says up to three months on a single charge you know that's just going to be give and take um, you know how much you use your backlit keys um, could take that down quite a bit so you know uh, it does have a nice feature though when you if you turn on the backlit uh, keys and then you don't type for a little bit it goes off and then when you start typing it comes back on so uh, they got you covered there so you're not going to just turn it on and waste battery and, and forget about it um, so and again this is what the box contains quick start guide charging cable and the 12.3 keyboard now as you can see here what we're going to look at this is the surface pros kickboard or kickstand see that yeah. Now, try to use that on your lap when you're traveling, when you're laying on a sofa, when you're in a plane to seat. It sucks, okay? It, it, it's been my biggest gripe about the Surface Pro is it just doesn't make it easy and portable to use. I prefer to have it on my lap like this. And that's exactly what this bridge keyboard does. So let's go ahead and take a look at my Surface Pro 3. Now, this is what it looks like all closed up you can see the hinges it just slid down in the hinges uh, you can see here it makes it look like a surface book look at that it just it just goes with it it looks so beautiful it turns it into a nice looking laptop and here it is here's the bottom of the bridge it tells you right here it's got four little rubber feet so it does give you some uh, 
sturdiness when it comes to being on a flat surface, a smooth surface, whatever, it's not going to move because these little feet are, are right there. Uh, it has the charge port over here, so this is where you charge the keyboard at, and that's really it, okay? So let's go ahead and open this up. Now if you're wondering too, uh, this is a skin from D Brand Skins <clears throat> for the Surface Pro 3 and 4 and the new one. Uh, this is called Dragon Skin. I uh, love it. It's really cool. It gives it some uniqueness. Uh, so definitely, if you want to know, I'll have a link there as well for that. <clears throat> as you can see here too, the hinges prevent you from using the kickstand built into the Surface Pro 3 or any other line. Uh, so you can forget about using this kickstand while you have it in this keyboard. And so let's go ahead and open it up. And as you can see here, is that just not a thing of beauty? Let's go ahead and just kind of pan up just a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, you've got a nice trackpad, and it is a nice, it's a very good functional trackpad, okay? Um, I've used it and I like it. Uh, it's not too big, so I'm not brushing it with my palm. Uh, it's perfectly centered and small enough that it does not get in the way of typing, which is beautiful. I love it. Can't, can't go on and on and on more about it. The keys are really nice little chiclet keys, much like a MacBook, like MacBook Air. MacBook Pro, um, very much similar to typing on one of those. Um, so you, you almost think that the person who designs this is kind of a, a pro Mac person, okay? But you're going to be using this on Windows. It does have the Windows key, and you have a function key, which kind of goes back to whoever designed this is kind of a pro Mac person. Um, but so you can use the function key in coordination with any of these keys uh, where you see an alternate uh, function or something up here, you know sound, whatever. Uh, function delete is actually power on this thing. Uh, and then there's Bluetooth pairing, there's battery life, there's all sorts of stuff. So you've got some hotkeys uh, that you can actually utilize. Uh, again, the hinges fit in. Now if you got a skin, now look, this has actually got a skin on the front, this dragon skin. And it is able to go in, I mean, uh, without any problems. Uh, not screwing up my skin at all on the back or on the front. So if you have a skin on your Surface Pro, uh, you know you should be good to go. Um, this one is not super thick, um, but uh, you know it's definitely a skin, and it is definitely to take in consideration. It's adding a little bit more uh, thickness to that hinge that was designed for this actual Surface Pro Line Three, because this is the one I installed out of the box. All right. So basically, all you got to do to get going. Let's go ahead and power up their Surface here. And then we're going to power up the keyboard. So all you do is hit function, delete for just a little bit, and you can see that green green light comes on, and we've powered up the keyboard, and it pairs really quick, as you can see. I'm already paired up and typing. Uh, trackpad, look at that, very responsive trackpad right there. I don't know if you can see that mouse moving around, but it just works and works very well. Now I'm going to cut the studio lights. I'm going to show you the backlit keyboard that this has. So I'm just going to hit function and then control. And this is going to turn on our backlit keys. And we're going to turn out studio lighting here so you can see the three levels of backlit keys. All right, there we go. So if you hit function, control, so we're out. That's dim. That's the second layer and that's the brightest you can get right there. And it really looks beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. And then this will eventually go out when I stop typing on it to save your battery. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn studio lights back on. And we'll do a little typing test. So let me just log in over here real quick. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. All right, there we go. All right, and we just lost a studio light. Must have clicked it. Uh, quick little typing test here that we're gonna do. Uh, we'll just bring up Notepad, not OneDrive, it's like stuff likes to auto load. I'm just gonna bring up Notepad. Boom. And let's do a quick little typing test and say, 
This is the BRYDGE keyboard 12.3 that you must get for your Surface Pro line. Ah, not one error. That's how great this keyboard is. Boom! Very, very nice keyboard type. I really, really can't go on and on about this keyboard that you just have to get it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn the backlight keys off. There we go. And again, this folds right up like the laptop and just looks beautiful. Now, one thing you got to do is turn the keyboard off. Let's hold it down. You can see it flashes red. Keyboard's off. We're unpaired. I can just pull this out of these hinges and, and use the uh, Surface in a laptop. Or not a laptop, but in a tablet mode. Use the Surface Pen, however. I want to go, if I want to switch it back to the touch uh, keypad that I showed you earlier, I could do that. But why would you? When you've got this kind of beauty, look at that. And you're going to be paying about the same price you would if you went out and bought this flimsy, flimsy piece of crap that Microsoft offers. Okay? Why would you want this for just a little bit more money or close to the same price? You get that and make it a fully functional type laptop for yourself. No brainer guys, check the show notes, I'll have a link for where you can pick up the Bridge 12.3. It also will be in Best Buys very soon. Um, they already sell the Bridge ones for the iPads. Uh, the 12.3 is coming to Best Buy near you in most, like Canada, United States, uh, I can't remember where else, maybe one other country, maybe Britain, UK. Um, so you should be able to pick up, you know, the, the bridge and the Best Buys too, but I'll have a link in the show notes where you can get it uh, if you don't want to wait, uh, and if you want to go read more about it and see other people's testimonials and stuff out there about it, because it's awesome. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.